I literally used to run out of breath running for the bus and now I think I could probably enter the Olympics. I hope you all had a good Easter. I did. I've been quite busy. Yes, I have actually been busy. I've only gone and bloody got this. The old red and white belt. Kickboxing. I'm a red and white belt now. Watch out. I'm not that lazy, am I? Because if I was that lazy, I wouldn't be a red and white belt. It feels good. It feels good to know I can take care of myself on the streets. I think I'm at that point now where I'm, I'm quite dangerous just walking around. Um, and I can, I can feel that people are quite, well, they sense it. They sense my martial arts skills. They just get that presence. People do walk a little bit further away from me now. I see people sort of freeze up when I get near to them. Because I can tell. And I can see my guns. They're scared. Yes, it's nice to be red and white belt. But it's hard walking through the world with everybody being intimidated by you. All five foot two of me. Absolutely terrifying. People are quaking in their boots. I mean, I don't know if I meant to wear this down the street. It's just like insurance, really, isn't it? Be afraid. You've got every right to be. I am a legalised weapon. Oh, look, it matches my mug. That's why people aren't scared of me. Look, it matches my mug. My pretty mug with love hearts on it. Brilliant. I don't know if I actually would be able to defend myself on the streets, but I'd like to think I'd have a go. But I hope I'll never know, uh, because I probably wouldn't be very good. I think if I ever got into any kind of conflict on the street, my tactic would be emotional warfare. I would try to get to their deep emotional insecurity and go in at that kind of angle rather than using my physical prowess because because I'm not, well, no, I am strong, but because I don't want to, I'm a lover, not a fighter. So I'd rather tear them down with my words, my brutal words, start talking to them about, I don't know, their childhood, how their parents aren't really proud of them, their biggest failure in life, try to get them sort of talking about that and let them have a good cry. Then hopefully they wouldn't take my purse. Both a red and white belt physically and mentally. Don't forget to use this one, yeah? But yeah, I'm glad I've kept it up. I'm still impressed that I went back at week two, to be honest, let alone getting any belts. Well done, Vicky. Cheers. <laughs> nice to do a bit of exercise. Keep yourself going, keep yourself fit. I've also started tap dancing now. So I'm really just super fit and I'm really good at it. I'm not, I'm really bad at it. I've got no rhythm, no rhythm, no timing. I'm not great at it, but I'm gonna persevere because that's what you have to do. I'm gonna keep at it and hope that I develop some musicality. But yeah, it's really fun. I've always wanted to tap dance. It's quite sort of um, old school, innit? So that's a bit of me. I've never really been a dancer. I know you'll be shocked by that little fact. Always felt very awkward when it came to dancing. Yeah, just not me. I always wanted to sort of uh, be sitting down at a party going, uh, no, that looks shit. Taking the mick out of anyone trying. But then I changed and now I'm always up dancing. I'm not good at it, but I just have a go. I wanted to try tap dancing ever since Billy Elliot, really, because that's my favourite bit when he tap dances to town called Malice. That is a great scene. And if I could ever do that dance, I'd die happy. Maybe I'll just learn that dance. That'll save some time, won't it? Maybe you'll see me tap dancing one day. Probably not. And La La Land as well. Everybody wanted to tap dance after La La Land, right? Fucking great. My good friend April, April Appleby. Shout out to Taptastics with Taylor. Woo woo. She's teaching us tap dance. And it's been it's been a bloody hoot. It's been an absolute hoot. It's been really good. I do really enjoy it. It is good. I'm not good at it, but I enjoy it. Look at me go. I'm quite quite fit really, aren't I? I'm quite active. Don't let this dressing gown fool you guys. I am a physical sporty goddess. Was baby spice. Now sporty spice. Take that. And watch out. You don't want me to unleash scary spice. Yeah. You have been warned.